Absolutely. It's 131 days today since we've got our um, notice to say that our jobs were gone. Um, but after we it voted for industrial action, we've been out here weeks now. You know. Did you expect to be out here so long? I did. I to be honest, I didn't think it would take this long. I honestly thought with the pressure of you know the, the concessions and them wanting their stock, um, and you know in the midst of the pandemic, that things would have been brought forward. There was a lot in the doll, you know. There was councillors, there was government. They were all backing us, and suddenly it just kind of died away now again, you know. Um, but we're still here. People are we're in good spirits, and we're, we're going to keep on going. You know, we have to be positive. We're doing the right thing. I, I really, truly believe it. And 11 stores and that 97% support for industrial action is not wrong. We're doing the right thing. Like it's an orange weather warning tonight, you know. Um, it's it's red in Cork. The girls are still out. We're still out. We have to, you know. It could be a prime night that they would hit the stores and it would be very unfortunate if we, so you know, stayed at home and they did it on those nights because it would be, you know, an, an act on, on their behalf, like to, you know, really insult us, to be honest. Um, so we have a big WhatsApp group, there's a lot of us in it. Um, we even have some, some members of like uh, McBerry, they're all in it as well. So I can keep in touch with all the shop stores and different stores every morning, we'll check in to say where does movement, where does activity, and we kind of see where it'll move from it. If it's in Dublin, those fans or trucks might move around to other Dublin stores. If it's in Kerry or Cork, there's a chance or trolley could be hit here, you know. Um, so it's good to keep in touch and see what's going on, what they see or what they know. Without it, we'd be lost really. You know, there's a lot of families out here, it's really hard. You know, I, I don't understand how people don't have a heart that, you, that you're sitting at home and you don't understand. Or you, you know, you just, you do nothing for these people. Like we've got no engagement from you. We don't get it. Like we really built Devlin's up from the ground. We welcomed it here in Ireland. You know, we welcomed it open arms. We, we built the business up. You know, they expanded on stores. They had profits. And you've just left us like this, you know. We, like, we've built that customer focus, we've built the online business as well, and we're just dumped then at the end. You know, it was a tactical move, like all oh, no, the Irish level stores. It wasn't even like that, it was a, a couple, it wasn't, there was profitable stores there, you know. We had access to figures, we saw that, you know, so it, it, it's just wrong. You wanted out, and that was it basically. The key thing is here that uh, solidarity between the workforce. You have to see that you know an injury to one is an injury to all. So why I'm standing out here but off the evening and into the night sometimes is to help to ensure that these girls get what is fair and just, and to also to somehow you know prevent this happening to another company because at the moment, unfortunately, the way society is, it is a pro you know a pro capitalist society. It's not a pro government or a pro workers government. You know so like. I mean, we have to fight, we have to teach people that we have to fight, you know, between unions and standing in solidarity between one, with one another and that. The key focus is that, like, you know, we have to fight for what is right. And basically, they, it was a contracted agreement that the guys in Debenham should get their two plus two. I mean, I mean, they should honour that, you know. But I think when it comes to solidarity, when it comes to the Socialist Party, you know, we're an activist group. and. We stand with other people, we stand with other workers and we fight for what's, what's worse.